Hey everybody, it's Debbie O'Neill of Scrapping Quick Designs and the Let's Learn Cricut Explore Facebook group. And today I want to show you how do you make your own card using two image shapes in Cricut Design Space to create your own shaped card. So you'll see that I'm logged into my Design Space account. So I'm going to go into Create a New Project. And just to make it simple, this works with any image that you're using, but I'm just going to go into Insert Shapes and just grab to just grab a simple um, circle. And I know that I want that circle, my card when it's finished, I want it to be able to fit within a five by five card, and so I um, can size it by looking at the grid on my mat. If you don't know how to turn your grid on your mat on, up here in the left hand corner there's a little box. You click on that and it turns your mat on. Okay. Some people are are just now seeing that. Um, anyway, so I can size it by dragging it and fitting it ver uh, visually into a 5x5 five five space. Or, of course, I can always go into my layers panel over here and decide how big I want my circle to be and let's say I can just go in and say that I want it to be 4.75 and now my circle is 4.75 diameter. Um, Alright, so once I have my, my first image shape sized the way I want it to be, I like to kind of move it down just so I have some room to play with it. Now in my layers panel, I am going to highlight the shape and then I want to duplicate it because remember we're going to make a card so I need two of these right and I'm just going to lay them just slightly overlapping each other but I don't want to have to mess with trying to pull these down and get them even and everything so let me show you how to do that you're just going to take your um, cursor and drag it around both of the shapes and now up in the, your top menu you'll see that your align feature has come up okay so you want to click align and I like to align mine so they're aligned on the bottom and now they are both aligned in on the bottom okay so now they are exactly in the right position that they need to be I have them slightly overlapping and now I want to again highlight these okay and I am going back over to my layers panel and now you'll see that the weld feature is available so I'm going to weld it okay so now my card is well now my two shapes are welded together okay and now I want to be able to uh, add a score line here so that when the card is created it will fold over onto itself so the next thing I need to do is go in and add the score line. So it, um, if you haven't used the insert shapes, that is a feature that Cricut added in the last release, which is really nice. So it gives us access to some basic shapes, but it's also where they put the score line. So there's no having to go search everywhere for it like we had to before. It's right here. So I'm going to grab the score line, and you'll see it here down at the bottom and I am going to drag it up now when you see it I left this dark so you could see the score line on here okay and you can size your score line by just dragging it up it doesn't really matter if it hangs off the edge because all it's going to do is score it so I'm, I'm scoring this in this in the center of where these two points meet okay and then I want to make sure that this is on then I'm going to highlight I'm going to click on this on the score line then I'm going to um, do control and then click on the whole outline and now I'm going to go over to my layers panel and I'm going to click attach okay so now you'll see that it's changed it so it's an attached set so you see that it's going to cut out the shape and it's going to use the score tool to score the line down the center okay so now when I create this card I will be able to um, go in and 
cut this shape out and be able it will get a score nice score line on it and I'll be able to fold it over onto itself and be able to um, you know create create a card image so from here I could go in and I could add you know whatever other images that I want to add to add to the front of my card and be able to create my card but that is how you take two shapes in design space and weld them together and be able to create a card out of them Hope you found this helpful. It's just a little mini tip today. And uh, stay tuned for some more videos. If you don't subscribe to my channel, please do so. And uh, so I can show you more about using Cricut Explore. Also, um, join us over at the Let's Learn Cricut Explore Facebook group if you're not already a member. And of course, you can always find me at Scrap Me Quick Designs. I appreciate you giving me a thumbs up on the video so I know if you liked it. And uh, leave me a comment if you have any questions. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.